Okay, Coach Freezy, uh, tough one for you guys against yep. Tiffin, but two matches where you guys really competed. Well, actually, yep. three. Yeah, we felt, 125. Know, we, felt, hey, we felt good at 25, so, and that's that's the kind of thing. You know, we're working on these guys on just wrestling through positions, you know, and that's what we look at recruiting-wise, what we look at from a wrestling standpoint. Wrestle through a tough position, you know, and we kind of at 25 we got caught on the edge of the mat, and I think we slowed ourselves down a little bit and locked ourselves into a position, and instead of keeping our feet moving on the edge, kind of dug in a little too much and got caught, you know, in that big move. So that was rough at 25s, um, but he's a competitor, kind of like you said, he'll come out and scrap. Um, 74, same way, weighed in a little bit light for us, but he's a scrapper, wants to go out there and battle a little bit at heavyweights. Kind of the same, you know, go out there and tough rider, you know, for an upperweight, so we feel good where we're at with him as well. How old are you guys as a program? A lot of these are, you know, Lake Area's within yeah, the last, yeah, like, yeah. 15 years, yep. obviously. Yeah, uh, so. Tiffin, you know, Joey started, was one of the, the yep. early ones here at Tiffin. They're all, they're under 15 years old. How old are you guys? This is our first year wrestling. Sure, first year. Yeah, first year, first year starting. And like I said, we got a bunch of young guys. And it's just nice. They're, they're all super excited to learn. And they're just sponges soaking it all up. And so we kind of drill in their heads, hey, every time you step out, learn something new. Take something away from the match. We'll get to the postseason. It's a little bit different ball game. So that's kind of, you know, having young guys, we got to make sure we're just developing and growing as we, you know, progress through the season. So. You're pretty positive. You know, that's tough to lose a match that yeah, way. And, yeah. you know, when you get, you get beat up, but you got guys who compete, yeah. right? Duels are really tough. Yeah. Especially oh yeah. for a first year oh program. Yeah. Oh to yeah. feel the whole lineup is really tough. How do you stay positive with the guys? And how do you focus on, you know, everybody's so March. Or, oh, we got to right. get the NCAA tournament. Everybody's so focused there. But how do you stay positive yeah, in this? And that's, you hear it at all levels. Those guys are talking, you know, you hear, you hear Snyder, you hear the guys at Ohio State, at Iowa, at Penn State, you know, all your upper level programs, and they talk about process driven, you know, not so much the results size up. Well, the results are part of that, and everything matters. You know, we talk in practice every day, hey, every second matters, every takedown matters, every leg attack matters, every drill matters. When you're in the weight room, every single rep matters. And so it's not so much. I just take it in a weight room sense. How much weight am I lifting, right? It's what are we getting through? We can get better. If I'm not lifting a house right now, that's okay. We can build it brick by brick. In two, three months from now, I might be that strong. And, and put it in a wrestling sense where we look at, hey, maybe we're not taking, you know, one of the weights we were talking about. Maybe we're not pulling through with that win. Well, look at a heavy. Maybe we solidify that tilt. And now we're looking at a, you know, a two-point move. And that's a little bit different for us. So we just kind of look at it in that sense of, hey, every time out, get better at something. And we kind of add that to our arsenal, you know. And then as we say, kind of like you mentioned, towards March, a little bit different ball game. But hopefully we've kind of built our armor up enough and feel good about where we're at to make a push. So. Okay, so you're from Arizona. What yes, is sir. your background? You're a crazy person being here right now from Arizona. <laughs> it's, a little cold. it's ridiculous it's a little here right cold, now. Yes, One of the teams didn't make it because there's yeah, like a it snowstorm, right? right? So it's, it's pretty wild. But um, what's your background and you know where'd you come from and why did they how they convince you to come to Kentucky <laughs> from Arizona? I'm, I, lo I love the South. For one, I'm a big fan out here, but I love I love back home as well. Um, so I wrestled at Arizona State one year and then went to Western State in uh, Gunnison, Colorado. Finished out my career there. That's actually where I met Coach McCabe. Uh, like Black was, Canyon? Yeah, yeah, right in the Black Canyon. Oh, the Canyon. Gunnison, so, yeah, okay. Montrose area. Yes, sir. Western, Western Slope. Yes, sir. Some salmon fishing down there. We used to do Black Canyon. We, uh, but Coach McCabe came from Adams State down in Alamosa, so we got a couple guys from the West out here. Um, but back, so anyways, we transferred down to Western State and coached out uh, out West to some D2s for a little bit, and then they started a program at Wesleyan, and just looking at the situation in terms of the area we can recruit from, the, the city of Owensboro is amazing, uh, have great faculty support, you know, super supportive school, and it was just, just a good fit, you know, for kind of what we were looking to do and, and build the program the right way. So the GMAC, this is the first yep. uh, inaugural duels. Obviously, you took one on the chin, but how important are duels, and what do you guys got to do to build a dual culture down there in Kentucky? Yeah, yeah, and that's, a, that, that's another one, you know, we're wanting to have. We tried to set it up this year, but kind of, as you mentioned, duels are a little tough, you know, your first year. But we're looking at having a dual meet out on the pier. We have a nice little river walk uh, in town. We're setting a duel up on the pier, uh, planning it. Plan it for this year, you know, kind of put it by the wayside, possibly next year. But dual, dual meets, to me, are an important part of the school, you know, and to me, I look at it as it's competing in every single sense, right? Just like we said earlier, every rep, you got to compete. Every every single go in practice, every single finish, right? Everything's a competition. You got to go out there. And it preps you for, yeah, everyone gets in the national tournament mode. Well, to us, every single time we step out on the mat, it's a national tournament mindset, right? And, and if you take a loss, it's okay. How are we going to rebound from that loss? You know, and I think dual meets really help with that. Sometimes you've got like an event like this where we take a loss. 
Let's come back and see if we can get a little bit better on the second go around. So that's kind of how we look at it. And I'm a you know dual meat fan. The fans come out there, and like I said, we've got a supportive area, um, really hot area of the state. Evansville is just across the river. Uh, you know, got a bunch of guys wrestling right now from up there in college, so it's super, super big in that area. Uh, St. Louis is close, Western Kentucky, you know, wrestling is kind of growing down there with, um, gosh, McCracken County and, and Union Counties are down there. So we've got a little support group, and I think once we get a dual meet culture kind of rolling, this should be a fun atmosphere. Well, good luck to you guys for the rest of this. You got anything yeah, else for me? It. Nope, just saying it's fun and love scrapping.